guys uh today i'm going to be doing scaling um, of floating points which is more accurate compared to the scaling of um integer because an integer does not show us an integer instruction does not show us decimal values like numbers after the comma so i'll be scaling uh floating points which are real numbers in other plc when they try to say floating points is real and then um these numbers in basic mathematics like uh, i'm talking about numbers with commas like 0 comma 2 0 comma 3 that's how you that that's our floating point here in plc so in my previous lecture i did a 16-bit instruction this is the 16-bit instruction here which occupies four consecutive devices and then today i'll be doing a 32-bit instruction which occupies eight consecutive devices so i'm going to explain what i mean by eight consecutive devices right so as you can see this is uh, how you assign your your limits to to your instruction okay so i have um, okay yeah okay so let's assume we've got a 12 bit plc a plc with a resolution of 12 bits so this plc is scaling is uh converting our analog signal from 0 to 495 counts that's 12 bits it's just 2 to the power 12 and then you get this this value 0 to 1495 right so this value you can choose which range that you want you can choose which range that you want here either you want to convert from milliamps uh to volts or you want to convert from milliamps to temperature or you want counts to degrees it's up to you it's up to you so this is your maximum limits and then this is your minimum limits for the ranges that you can choose but by converting from milliamp to psi that doesn't mean i'm converting electrical signal to pressure no it's for the display of the screen so let's say it's a pressure sensor that is measuring 420 milliamp and then you want to see how much pressure is in there you want to display 3 to 15 psi on the hmi this is what i mean when i'm saying milliamps to plc is you choose the range that you want okay so the, the delta plc has got registers from d0 to d9999 these registers each consecutive register here it has got a memory of a 16-bit it's a 16-bit register in in memory size so if you want to put a floating point a zero comma value you need to have a double word this is a word this is a word this is a d word you need a double word so a floating point occupies two consecutive devices so you have to add d0 plus d1 for you to be able to store a 0, 0,8 in a d word d word memory in a plc in a delta plc so you must take note whenever you move this value into d0 it will occupy d0 and d1 automatically okay so these are your instruction your source is where your signal is is coming in to the plc and then your source max and your source mean is your your range for the input devices this is the source when i'm converting from this to this this is the source and then this is my destination if i'm converting from counts to milliamp when i'm converting from psi this is my source this is my destination so by source i mean th this data here from 0 to 490 1495 and then um source maximum the source maximum is uh this this is the source maximum all this is the source maximum if you are sourcing from a certain uh certain range and then my my source minimum is this right the destination is where, what i'm converting to so let's say i'm converting to temperature this is the source me the destination minimum this is the destination minimum, maximum so i've already assigned my devices here i'm just gonna punch this into the plc straight um, it's d s c l e one thousand m one thousand m one thousand two 
This is a set, uh -huh. and then D move. DMOPR. What if I DMOO? Okay, okay, okay. There's no O here. Huh? doing okay let me get it this way Okay, it's done now. This one, uh, as you can see, it's saying switching between decimal integer and binary floating for SCLP instruction. Okay, so make sure it's on for you to work with uh, binary floating points. It has to be on, and then it has to be off when you're dealing with uh, integers. So that's how it works. When you're dealing with floating points, just make sure this thing is on. Okay. So what I'm going to do, my source, like I said, is it's coming in at D100. It's D100. And then the, my parameters, my parameters, they are searching from D0. So by D0, and this instruction is a double word, it means automatically I'm taking D0 and D1. Okay. So this is my maximum, 40, 95. This is uh, 0. This is 20. This is my destination. Milli M. So this is D0. I'm assigning the range now. So D0 and D1, they are already taken. The next range is size D2, D3. The next one is D4, D5. The next one is D6 and D7. Where is this coming from? This is coming from the PLC instruction. Uh, if you check here, uh, where it's saying max source, it's S2 plus 1. So this is D0 and D1. This is D0, S2 is D1, S2 plus 1, it's, uh, it's D1. It's a register, these registers, you are going to use them for source maximum value and then you say s2 remember we had d0 and d1 now we are now on d0 which is our s2 plus 2 you go on to d2 d d0 which is our s2 plus 4 we are going to d4 d0 plus 6 you go to d6 so this is the s2 yeah the instruction is s2 so s2 plus 2 is here s2 plus 3 is this one s2 plus 4 is plus 6 is this one so that's how you assign your this is the configuration for the instruction this works with this you are setting limits for the scaling value for the scalp instruction so I'm going to compile now where I'm going to get errors. Yes, I knew I'm going to get errors because this instruction is meant to calculate floating points, not integer. This is an integer. So this must be a comma value. I'm going to compile again. Uh, what am I missing? Uh, okay, there's no destination so destination we can call it d10 that's where we're gonna get our information that you're gonna see on the hmi or that you're gonna use somewhere in your program our program is clear now zero errors i'm going to download now so guys don't forget to click the subscribe button 
please just click the subscribe button uh, and don't forget to comment if you've got any question and click the like button okay we are online now uh, this one is set because this one goes on this register whenever you move from stop to run so now I've got four milliamps now because I've got a zero here on my source remember it's a uh, zero to 40.95 so zero is corresponding to four milliamps so I'm going to put 50% of this then I must get a uh, so yeah uh, Am I in run? Yes, I'm in run. So here I must change to two zero four seven comma zero. You see, I'm getting um, I'm getting twelve. It's almost like twelve, but it's accurate now because it's working with um with a floating point. Otherwise, this value was going to be. 12 round off to the nearest if we're dealing with integers you're just going to get a solid 12 no comma value so this is more accurate if it's temperature it will be straight on point so if i put a thousand that's it as you go on so just play around with the limits like i said you can pick the limits that you want from here you can pick whenever you want to convert from what with whatever value okay so this is how it works uh, lastly but not least uh, like I said um, I'm going to go online edit I'm gonna show you how to convert uh, an integer to a float but don't forget to click the subscribe button because this is a bonus okay so I'm going to say DFLT something like this and then uh, Lord uh, M1000 like that, and then I just say, let's say D20. Ignore this, this is not part of the scaling. But let's say you are sourcing your value as an integer and you want to write it automatically into D100. So I'm going to say D100 here. Um, um, this is our D100. Mm. Which, which is containing 1000 right now and then here I'm going to say D more dot M1000 right mm. and then uh, I'll just say so that I want to change this value D50 D52, D52, and then I must download Okay, so if I come to view now, um, I go to unsigned decimal these are integers. You can see that these are integers. These are integer. This is an integer. This is an integer. Okay. So if I change my present value to 4095. Yeah, I put 4095 straight as it is. So you can see this is 4095, 4095, 4095. What is an integer? When it's converted to a float, you can't read it now because your view is in assigned decimal. When I change to float now, you can see it's gonna put the comma for you. This comma that I put on manually, the PLC is putting the comma value for you. So it's automatically changing. Yeah, that's why you have 20 milliamps. So let's say I wanna put um now you can see I must go back to unsigned so that I can put a value nicely here. Change to 20 four, seven. I don't put a comma. Because I'm working with integers, so this number is moving, it's moving, it's already in float. So it's taking this 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 number in D100, putting it here on D100 so that you can see your value here. So it's supposed to be 11.998, like we. So just play around, change the values. Feel free, change the values. You see. So 
don't forget to click this, the subscribe button guys please just click the subscribe button and like um, so that I can do more of this video so that you can learn more if you want me to explain more or you put an area that you want me to explain further just put it in the comment section thank you